everybody, it's Christy. I am back with another scrapbooking process video and this one is for Click Kits. This is another design team project for them. So this month the challenge was, there's a mood board challenge um, and there's also a cut file challenge. So I cut the cut file, I took this off and I have an idea to mix media the background and then put the centers of them like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mixed medias out and start working on this page. Let's go. All right, so you know my first step is always to put some gesso on my uh, Vicky Booten Foundations paper. I just use this Liquitex and I use the white this time and I just put the excess back in the bottle as I go because I usually put way too much. <laughs> All right, now here's the cut file all cut out and the white uh, letters and everything. So I'm picking out what color shimmers I want with each um, section. So the first part is going to be this orange section. I believe this is called Freshly Squeezed. I will have all the links down below for you um, if I can remember to do that for you. Um, but I wanted it to gently flow each color into one another and not have that harsh line. So that's why I sprayed some more. I let it dry between and then I'm going in with pink stilettos and Moscato. Uh, pink Moscato maybe? All right, so one of the nozzles just didn't spray right, was not happy, but I'm gonna add some water, try to get it to flow down and um, go ahead back in and sp um, spray some more pink stilettos down here. I just really didn't want the harsh lines. I want it to flow and you'll see, I really enjoy and super happy with the end product. All right, so I add some more pink stilettos. I got my paintbrush, I dipped it in some water to help it easily flow. And that is the pink section. Now on to the blue section. And these colors are, I believe, deep blue sea. I'll have a picture of all of the shimmers that I use. I took a picture of them so that you can see them, so you can pause it and take a look. But I definitely wanted to add the blue. I used Jenny B Blue, which is my favorite blue from Shimmers. I'm gonna try to set it up. I keep bringing my cut file back to make sure that it's where I want it and everything else and how far to go down. So that is why I keep bringing that cut file back. I love the way, I love this blue. It's like ocean to me. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take the papers off. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and try to get it to have a more even look. I didn't, again, you know, I want it to flow into each other. So that is the blue section adding a little bit here on the side because i wanted to make sure it went all the way across there all right now that it's dry i'm gonna lay all the pieces i think i lay all the pieces on there to take a look oh i'm cutting them out okay i didn't even do the green section yet what the heck all right so <laughs> i decided to cut fussy cut these like back them with the Paige Evans blended paper from this Willem Stodd kit from Click Kits. You guys, this kit is amazing and I don't know why you don't have it yet because it has all the summer colors. The line is Vicki Booten and Paige Evans, so can't, like you literally can't go wrong. So I backed that one there <clears throat> and then I edge distressed it and then I'm going to back all of the letters as well, but I'm gonna save you from having to watch me do every single letter. <laughs> I think I glue them on down, <clears throat> and then I spare you. <laughs> fussy cutting is so boring. Um, I enjoy fussy cutting, but some people just loathe the fussy cutting, so. Um, I'm just going to show you how I glue them backwards onto here, and then I end up fussy cutting them out. So that is the Paige Evans pink paper. I did the blue as well, and now, for some reason, I'm going to finally go to the green. And I can't remember the name of the color. Hold on, let me look it up. 
Okay, so the colors are freshly squeezed pink stilettos, pink Moscato, Jenny B. Blue, Well Blue Me Down, and Elfin Magic. So I use the Elfin Magic here on the bottom for the green section. It matches the paper perfectly. And um, yeah, I really love shimmers. If you haven't, if you don't have any shimmers, I would start with definitely Jenny B. Blue and Well Blue Me Down if you're a blue lover for sure. All right, friends, I thought I would check in with you and show you what I've done. So I fussy cut all of the letters out of the various pattern papers. And then the last one that I need to cut out is this one that says summer. And this one I am going to do on this piece of paper. So I get one of each, but I had to line them up to know what goes where, if that makes sense. So that is <clears throat> next on the agenda. We're gonna do the blue and the next blue. I had stuck some down and then realized that that wasn't gonna work because I had to make sure I knew which was where. <laughs> All right, and then this is another M. So we've got the blues definitely want the green that one has a little bit of the orange then we'll do more of the orange and the last ones will be the pink and the purple I'm gonna glue these down and then I'm gonna fussy cut them out and we'll be on our way to finishing this page. All right, you guys, so let's get this cut file trimmed out. I love how the blue and the green is peeking out from the side. I'm gonna use my adhesive all around the edge to stick this down nice and well to the background. And then I'm gonna start putting the letters on top and getting that uh, worked out. So I thought about moving it over a little bit more to the right and letting the left side also have some shimmers peeking through, but I end up changing my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the letters down and add some foam tape to the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you listen to some music while I do that. adhered with the foam I am getting all the embellishments out and as you can see there are tons and tons of embellishments you get the flower pack from Paige Evans and then you get the ephemera pack from the Vicki Booten line so there's tons of stuff I'm just putting I'm kind of color matching so I have the aqua flowers near the aqua part of the title I thought this palm tree was perfect since we're talking about summertime on this page and this kit also comes with a little tiny jar of sequins and beads and pearls. So I just put them in that little dish that I have and added them to my page. I use glossy accents to put this stuff down because it dries pretty clear and you won't see um, the glue coming from behind it, which some of them are jewels that have a clear front so you don't want to see the glue behind it. I also added this heart because you get these fabulous heart layered hearts in the kit from Vicki Booten. Right, these, okay, that stash that just appeared and disappeared very quickly is my little bin of Rachel Talman's sequins. So I couldn't find the exact colors to match orange or pink. There weren't, they were like little beads and I didn't want to put um, the tiny beads. So I pulled out my sequins and of course found a match because Rachel has the best sequin mixes. I will link her store down below, but she also is on the Click Kits team. So um, she does lots of fun things. 
All right, let's see. Oh, this orange, this piece of orange is so cute. I don't know. I think I went a little overboard on this page with the embellishments, but you know, you know how it goes. You only live once and put all the embellishments on the page. So I made the cluster of orange up at the top and then I messed up my stamping around the sun. So I needed to put something on this little spot. So I decided to put the butterfly and I popped that middle up on foam dots. These foam dots are from um, close to my heart. They are pretty, they're not bulky at all, which I really appreciate because I don't like, um, you know, like really tall, thick foam. All right, so I was looking for another pink gem and I couldn't find one. So I end up going into my stash and finding little rhinestones to add over in this corner. I fiddle around with this a little bit and then I end up also adding glassy accents on the black part of the butterfly because I feel like it needed a little bit more dimension and texture. So probably didn't need to do that, but you know, that's, that's what happens. My brain starts working, like I have the glossy accents out and I think, oh, I can just add some here and there. So that's what happened. All right, I got my little tray out and I'm adding some more sequins and jewels around the page. The ice cream cone, the palm tree, those are from, and the slice of orange are all from Vicki Booten. The little dots are cut out. They're actually fussy cut from one of the pattern papers. And I love how they go perfectly with um, the colors. Okay. So I printed my pictures super duper tiny. I thought that since I didn't have a picture to begin with, I thought that it would be fun to add pictures from everybody's summer onto the page. So they're pictures of like basically everybody in the family. <laughs> um, but I didn't like the stark white of the side. Now, again, looking back, it probably would have been just fine but I wanted to add a little bit of the orange over here. I end up sopping some of this up because I didn't want it to be too terribly bright. Um, I tried to add some dots or little splatters, but it doesn't work when it's still wet. So I end up um, just leaving it alone. Then I'm gonna add some pink underneath before I layer up my pictures. And again, I'm gonna combine both the pink Moscato and the pink stilettos um, right under here. And I, the reason I added this is because if you look towards the bottom of the page, you can see the blue and the green have crossed over to this section, and I just felt like it needed more. If I had thought about it before, I probably would have just extended those parts before I did all of this, <laughs> before I had to add it to my already put together layout, but you know, it is what it is. Right, the paintbrush here helps move the mixed media around. A lot of times, even though there's gesso, if you don't add water, it doesn't move very fluidly. So I usually dip my um, paintbrush in water and that will help move the color around. So this is perfect. I really like how the pink is not too overpowering. Um, adds just the right touch. Right, I'm just cleaning up my desk a little bit and now I'm gonna put my pictures I'm gonna layer the pictures I change how this looks I got these wood veneer out these are from color cast designs and they're like little summer phrases I think there's six or eight in the pack and I end up using I believe three of them on this page but I thought about layering like alternating wood veneer then two pictures and wood veneer but I end up changing this around um, and I really like how it looks. See? So it worked out perfectly that I could layer that wood veneer and a picture would fit just in that little part, as Jen Scowl would say, just nestled right between there. Sorry, you're getting a very close up shot of the back of my head. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was straight using my T-square ruler to make sure everything's lined up just right. I'm loving how this is coming out. These little pictures are so fun. Um, I end up having to move this because if I put the, <laughs> I put the wood veneer there, I literally was gonna cover up um, 
one of my family members' faces, so I end up moving it and fiddling with it a little bit so that it doesn't cover up the face. All right, so this one says soak up the sun. I don't even know what the other ones say. Um, summer vibes, I think one of them says. Vacation, I'm not quite sure. You can see, I'm gonna have close-ups of all of it so you'll be able to see. Um, a weekend getaway, that's what it says. Look at how those pictures fit perfectly. But, so cute. All right, then I added another piece of blue floral and this blue leaf, which again, way over the top. You know how it is, more is more, like Chanel likes to say. All right, so I added the leaf already. I am gonna add this orange to the top on the orange section and add the blue flower here on the bottom in the blue section and add some more stinking sequins. Um, but then I'm going to add my journaling there at the bottom and it fits perfectly. I just use my T-square ruler to write some lines, add my journaling, and I really like how this one came out. Make sure you head on over to the Click Kits website. I will link this cut file in the description box. Check out this kit, the cut file, and make sure that you check back in on August 1st to see what the challenges are for August because they always do two challenges a month. So sure to find some inspiration over there from the challenges and from the design team. Here I am adding my journaling. I usually pencil in the lines first. Sometimes I journal completely, but um, you're gonna see I make kind of smudge mess of this. Um, I end up, there's a couple of tips. So if you're on white card stock and your pen is kind of smudged, you can one, use a gel pen, a white gel pen to cover over your mistake or just use a little white out. All right, you guys, that's it for this layout. I hope you were inspired. I hope you found some fun things that you would like to try. I'm gonna show you some close-ups and I will see you in the next video. Till next time, I hope you find time to be creative. Bye y'all. Thank you.